Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitrovich, the Alternate Historian. Another Patreon sponsored video today, this time for Trope Talk, where we're going to look at why Hollywood likes destroying California. Yeah, this isn't exactly an alternate history video, but California can get wrecked in a different timeline, either from nuclear war, invasion, or from ASBs having fun with the laws of physics. Like in Sterling's Emberverse novels. It's occasionally nice, however, to get out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. That's why I decided to cover a trope outside of our favorite genre. With that being said, it's not crazy to claim that Hollywood loves to destroy California. We've seen famous landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge or the Hollywood sign be destroyed dozens of times. Here are just a few examples. As fun as some of these movies can be, we really need to ask ourselves an important question. Why do we like seeing California get destroyed? I've done some research and I've come up with a few reasons why we like seeing the Golden State get laid to waste. To be fair, California already seems like it's going to be destroyed any minute now. It's hit constantly by droughts, wildfires, and of course, earthquakes. As you may know, California sits on the Ring of Fire, a major area in the basin of the Pacific Ocean where a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. In fact, a lot of the films mentioned earlier involve an earthquake big enough that California breaks off from the continental United States and falls into the sea. Now, any sane geologist would say that all or part of California sinking into the ocean because of one big earthquake is completely impossible. But science rarely makes for good cinema. With some exceptions. People, however, don't think of earthquakes happening anywhere else besides California. Thus, seeing Illinois get hit by a monster earthquake isn't as believable as seeing California get split into by one big tremor. Still, natural disasters do happen in other parts of the world. So why does California stand out with its native disasters? Well, that's probably because California is such an iconic place. It is a rich American state with large cities, iconic landmarks, booming industries, beautiful beaches, and a large, diverse population. In the past, California symbolized America's drive west, where you could start over and make it rich. Today, people still head to California with dreams of making it in showbiz, or working in Silicon Valley, which has become the center of technological advancement and hints at a brighter future for us all. Hollywood has been the best marketing team California could have asked for, and made many of the famous locales recognizable to us, even if the story tells us it is happening somewhere outside of California. Thus, seeing the Hollywood sign or the Golden Gate Bridge be destroyed has a more powerful impact on people than, say, watching the city hall of Boise, Idaho be destroyed. We don't need to be told those places are important. We already know they are. Now we need to talk about the emotional reasons for why people like to see California get blown up. Since I took one class of psychology in high school, I am obviously qualified to speak on this topic. One reason could be is that California is just too well off, and it makes people outside the state jealous. It's a natural human emotion to be envious over what your neighbor has. You convince yourself that they don't deserve it, and are secretly pleased when a stroke of bad luck takes that away from them. Seeing it happen to a wealthy state takes that experience to the macro level. People from flyover country or rival cultural hubs like Chicago and New York are just secretly happy that the state that so dominates pop culture gets knocked down a peg. It's oddly cathartic and helps release pent-up frustrations about your home's flaws. There can also be a political and or religious reason for why people like seeing California burn. For better or worse, California is known for being a liberal state. Despite giving the United States President Ronald Reagan. Still, Californians do tend to vote for Democrats during presidential elections and support liberal positions like gay rights or stem cell research. Thus, seeing California suffer God's wrath for its sins, sort of like a modern Sodom and Gomorrah, may be pleasurable for certain fire and brimstone Christian types out there. I don't mean to offend anyone by that last comment. That and other theories I mentioned just came up during my research. If you disagree, please share your reason why we enjoy destroying California in the comments below. Well, that is all I got to say on this subject. If you like what I do, please comment, subscribe, share this video, support me on Patreon. I'm Matt Mitrovich, The Alternate Historian. Bye.